All right, welcome back. I've been asked to do a list of the 10 things that I hate uh, about my theater room and actually a list of the 10 things that I love, but that'll be a different video. Uh, so this one, let's cover over the things that I hate or I don't like about my theater room that I, that I put together here. So let's go over the first list. The so let's go over the list. Uh, the, it's not really in any order. It's just uh, maybe we'll start at the beginning where you walk into the room and then we'll just kind of work our way around. Um, the list of things I have aren't really in the order of the, the worst to the best or whatever. So we'll just start at the beginning. So let's go out there and check it out. All right, so starting with the first item on the list, uh, it's the hallway lighting here in the, the vestibule that they, they call these things. Um, you know, I, I, it's not that I don't like the particular lighting that I chose, it's the dim light that I don't like. And the reason why is it makes it hard to see some things in here. And then on the camera, it's kind of hard to pick up some of the items. I mean, you, can, you know, your eyes can adjust, but in here, it's just really dimly lit. Um, and that's good for a theater room, but if I ever want to do anything and I want to see anything, um, it's hard to see in this room, in this area, particularly over here. Now I installed a light switch um, here for uh, to put a light, I was going to put a light up above, something, just something that I can shine on this tower and see what I've got going on here. And of course in the camera it all looks black. Um, but that's uh, that's one of the things that I don't like is just the lighting in here, and I don't really don't really want to do much about it because I want to keep it dim. I guess I could put a dimmer on there, um, but the the lighting is what I is what I don't like about this hallway area. The second item on my list is the cabinets. Now um, I bought these from Home Depot. They're just a cheap. They're wood, but um, you know I just. I'm wishing I would have done something a little nicer in here. These are just, they're, they're cheap. Now, you guys can't tell from the camera, but, you know, it's, maybe it's the varnish that I put on here, but the cabinetry that I have, you know, with the drawers and stuff, it, again, it works, but it's just, they're just cheaper than I thought they would be when I ended up buying them. Now, you get what you pay for, but, you know, in this case, I wish I would have got some nicer cabinets. The third item on my list is this access panel. And what I don't like about it is, you know, the the width of this panel. Now, what I when I framed this in, I actually was trying to stick with the 16 inch on center, you know, building type of setup, but I built the wall and I actually put it in backwards. And I didn't know that until I had the drywall on and I was cutting it out for this this access area. So if you look I don't know if you can see it in here, but this area in here um, is actually 16 inches wide, but this one is not. And I thought I had the wall this way, so where this opening would have been wider and I would have had more access to the this rat's nest of wiring back here. Um, so getting through here, it's a little bit of a tight squeeze sometimes, and I don't like that, uh, and I wish I would have caught that when I was building it. So I don't I don't like that part about this about this access. The fourth item on my list is the the location of the the tower or the, the equipment rack. Um, what I don't like is it is outside of the room, the theater room, and it does cause a problem with uh, infrared remotes. For example, the uh, remote for my receiver has an infrared on it and it doesn't go through walls. So I had to install, over here in the corner, I've got a little IR repeater thing. And then if you come out to the panels out here, uh, I've got, you know, see the lighting isn't so bad in here, you can't see anything. And I can't fix that. Um, so if I turn the receiver on, yeah, you still can't see. There's two little re little repeaters on here that, that shine on the IR sensor of the receiver. And that uh, so it allows me to repeat that signal from the room. Now, other devices that are RF frequency work just fine through the theater, but what I don't like is having this out of the room so that I can't easily manipulate the receiver with the controller. The fifth item on my list is the um, three way switch. So here it's turning the light off, you know, when I do that, but it doesn't work on the other end. And I really wish I would have fixed that. Um, you know, the three-way wiring should not be, um, 
it should not be this difficult. I've even got a book that about how to wire it up and I clearly did it wrong, but this doesn't work on that switch over there and uh, that's a frustration of mine. All right, the sixth item on my list is the low ceiling in this room. Because of the limits of the theater room, and I've got a, the kitchen is actually above uh, where we're at, so I, I can't go any higher. And I wanted to have a soffit area that goes around the room. And I, I don't like the, the ceiling height. And, and I've got about three inches from the top of my head to the ceiling up here. And it works, you know, I can get in the room. I don't have to duck my head, but I'm all, it's always on my mind. And if anybody to taller than me comes over, um, they're always ducking and I don't like that. But with the limits of the room, that's all I was allowed to do. So I, that's number six on my list. Number seven on the list is the breaker panel. Now, um, let's see if I can take this off without causing any problems here. There we go. So the breaker for the house is down here in this part of the basement and I couldn't move it. I realistically couldn't move it. So I had to leave it in the room and I don't like that I have to have a panel that that covers it. Now the nice thing is, is I don't remember if I covered in the in the other theater room videos, but I've got magnets on here and then there's just a lip down on the bottom and that lip just sits sits on here and then the magnets just just stick to the, the heads of the screws and uh, it just stays. I never have a problem with it falling off, but I don't like that I have to have that in this room. It kind of breaks up the back wall back here. Um, you know, you got the tower and, and for the rear channel there and then also one in that corner. Uh, this is an egress window. It's just a plug. You just pull that out. Um, but I don't like having that in here, but it's it is what it is. All right, number eight on my list and you can almost see it right now. You see this right, this line right here? That's the frame for the panel, the fabric panels that I made. So behind these panels, it's just the drywall um, and I painted it black, but I didn't paint the frame and you can kind of see it right here too. I didn't paint that black and it didn't even cross my mind until I had already built all the panels and put them in the room and I started looking and I'm like, wow, you can see that framing. That's horrible. And to to fix it, I'd have to take all the fabric off and paint it and then reattach the fabric. And I'm afraid I'd have to use new fabric because the way it's stapled around the frame that I would tear it up. And this stuff, this uh, GOM, um, GOM, it's uh, short for Guilford of Maine is the, is the company that makes this material. This stuff's not cheap and I really don't want to redo it. Look, you can even see it over here. It's just, Something that I see every time I come in this room, you know, we're always our worst critics and I don't know how many other people see it, but uh, I really wish I would have uh, painted those frames black. All right, number nine on my list are the powered seats. Now, not I, I like the seats and they're, they're comfortable, they're good enough, but I don't like that they're powered. And, um, you know, the reason why is, let's see if I can op open this up here. Come on, there we go. It's, <laughs> first world problem, it just takes too long for this to open up all the way. And when I talk about that, I mean like, if you wanna get out of the chair, you know, I, I tend to sit here in the middle. I'm kind of spoiled by, by any, able, being able to do that. I can just put my foot off to the side and step out of the chair. But if the wife or, or somebody's, you know, my son's with me and he's got his chair out, then I have to put the chair down to get out of the chair. And then when I come back, I gotta, I mean, it's again, first world problems. I'm, I'm whining about something that's that's minor, but I, you know, I had a set of chairs like this in my last house where I had a theater room. Well, it was bedroom with painted walls and a screen is really all it was. But um, the chairs in the other room were mechanical. You pull a lever and the, 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 you know, the front of that would pop out and stuff. And it was fast. And, uh, and I really wish that you could, easily find chairs like these that were mechanical and not electric. Plus, what's it gonna cost to replace those motors when those go out? I'm not looking forward to that. But other than that, these chairs are good. All right, the last uh, item, number 10 on the list, is the, the room location. Um, Grant, this is in the basement of my house, so I'm away from everybody else if I wanna watch a movie or for watching a movie. Um, but because it is in the basement, I'm less likely to come down here. and I. 
When I first built this room, I was in here all of the time, like anybody else would be. You know, you're super proud of what you build and you want to watch a movie. It, it's a great room, but it's down in the basement like on the other end of the house. And it's just one of those things where all of a sudden you start finding excuses not to come down in here and watch the movie here. We'll just watch it in the family room. Um, in the bathroom, there's no bathroom on this level. It's, it's upstairs. So to go to the bathroom, you got to go upstairs. You know, the kitchen is above us. Um, so if you need to, I mean, it's again, I'm making excuses, which sounds silly, but that's one thing that I don't like about this room because of its location. It's isolated from everything else in the house. Uh, and I really wish that I wish that it was maybe on the main floor or something like that. And, um, that's something that I really would have liked to have had. And when you design your room, you take what you have. This is the this was the space in this house that you've probably seen the first video that I made in this room where I built it. And it was just an unfinished part of the basement. And it was a great blank canvas to build the room I want. I'm, I love this room. I, I, this is what I wanted. I designed it. It took a long time to design this. In the previous house, I was you know, writing ideas of what I wanted to do and the equipment I wanted to have. Um, there was a room that was like this over, I think it was in Wisconsin or something like that. This guy that had built this room that was the same colors and kind of the same layout. Um, his stage was a lot fancier than mine, but I really liked it so much. I just kind of emulated what he had done and I love the room. I just wish the location wasn't down here in the basement, kind of out of the way. So that takes care of that. That's the 10 things I hate about my room. Um, and I, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to do a video on the 10 things I love about my room, but let's get this one done first. And then, uh, we'll see you in the next one.